Morning everybody, uh, just thought that I'd uh, have a quick look at this V22 Osprey from Italieri, uh, 1 in 48, uh, not going to buy you with kit number and all that sort of stuff, uh, it's a V22 Osprey from uh, Italieri. Just going to start with instructions then, uh, I've wanted to build this for quite a while, I had it in my stash ages ago, uh, but I wanted a, an F16, uh, tell me an F16, uh, and they cost an absolute fortune so unfortunately I had to let this go to sort of contribute towards that uh, which I was pleased at the time but I kind of always regretted selling it uh, I wish I'd have sold something else instead of this but luckily uh, we had a bit of a duel last night Fraser came around with some of the lads thanks a lot for that uh, and uh, lo and behold Fraser's had it in his stash for a while he's never going to build it uh, so I absolutely snapped his hand off uh, and I'm going to have a go at it myself. Uh, there's loads of videos on YouTube uh, with this build uh, and some of them are absolutely fantastic. Uh, a bit scary actually, to be absolutely honest, uh, especially with my very basic skill set. Uh, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, engines up with rotor blades, it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm going to try... I'm thinking already, I've not seen it before, but maybe to put like a metal rod through, uh, if, if you know the layout of this aircraft, uh, so that I can sort of pivot pivot these engines with rotors on. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I haven't got any steel bar, uh, so that's like, oh, well, I've got to go out and get some, etc, etc. So it might just be a, a static little thing. I've seen dioramas with this kit, uh, with cotton wool, with dust and smoke and everything. It looks... Looks absolutely awesome. Uh, I, I have now got, <laughs> I've now got three kits in my stash. I've got a frog foot off Jez, cheers mate. Uh, I've got this and I've got another tornado. Uh, reason that I'm building this one now instead of the other two, I've got grey paint. Uh, I, I've decanted all my Tamiya's. Uh, did that other night into some dropper bottles that I got off Amazon. Uh, uh, wanted to do that for a while, not going to labour on that, but that's what I've done, and I've got grey, which means that I can go ahead with, with building something, I'm still on furlough for uh, another month and a half, we're in July 2020 now, middle of July, and I'm not back till September, uh, so I've got to keep some busy, and I've got to keep going, uh, otherwise I'm just going to get bored. Instructions then? So you get, let me just have a look, you just get the uh, six uh, different languages of, you know, a brief sort of what it is. It's a chopper, it's this, it's that, it's marines, etc, etc. And then on page one, uh, colour call like that in bottom left hand corner, flat black, olive drab, medium grey, green zinc, chrome, eh? I think that'll be for, I know where that's for. Uh, gloss white, gunship grey, red and silver, dead easy. And then you get your sprue, you get your sprue map with your little sort of greyed art bits. Uh, should be familiar with that. Uh, I don't think they're in every kit, but they're in this one. Uh, and again, what I do, what I'll do before I actually build it, uh, I'll get the sprues out. In fact, let me just have a look here. So we've got say sprue F, and I'll just show you that. So I've tagged that up with a little bit of masking tape. Look F, so that when I'm doing my build. Uh, obviously when it says, you know, get part 15 at F, I can just get, go straight to my spro and I know which part I'm messing. I'm not messing the bar, I, I can't stand that. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll go through each individual spro. There's only one, <laughs> I don't need to, there's only two sprues that's got a bit of grey dye area on. Uh, and what I normally do is I normally get a bit of masking tape and just sort of put a bit of masking tape over that part. I've got to do that because when I get to the end of a build, you know you've got your sprue and your sprue get uh, your, your big sort of area, and then there's this bit and that bit and that bit, and you're like, well, what have I missed? Uh, but obviously we get into them bits and, and they're covered in masking tape. I know that the shunt have gone on. Uh, it's not labour intensive it's just part of the enjoyment of what what i like to do uh to, to do the planning stage i'm not starting it today uh what is saturday today uh 25 to 11 
uh, I, I don't start a build straight away. I'm gonna I'm a YouTube, I'm a Google, and all them kinds of things for at least a day, at least rest of today and tomorrow, possibly tomorrow, on my phone while wife's watching telly. I'll be flicking through and watching video builds and paint techniques and looking for other people have built it and looking for what they've had to say. Uh, what's for this and that's a bad fit and you know what I mean. Uh, there's there's no point in going into a build. Uh, not we aren't doing the research, but we are looking for trip hazards. Is there? There's just no point. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to make the same mistakes that they've made with ill-fitting parts and a bit of this and a bit of that. You might as well get as much information as you can, in my opinion, uh, and then you're progressively getting better every time. So uh, there's no. I don't think there's any armament on this kit. Uh, and I like to do armament first, but this looks like a bit of a troop carrying type thing. Uh, so no armament for me, uh, because I like to build backwards and do armament first. Uh, and that's not saying I'm going to go straight into office though. Uh, but I might do. No, I'm not. I'm going to. I'm going to do them rotors first, because I, I want to sort of get that little piece and I, I, it's like the rotor housing and the rotor blades and get them all painted up and weathered and beautiful. Uh, so that when I've done rest at kit, I can just the are done, aren't they? They're done. I'm not I'm not I ain't got the kit there beautiful and then I'm having to build to, to attach on. I don't like to build stuff I, I like to build stuff that attaches on in a finished state, if you will, before I've actually done the main the main build. Uh that's just how I like to do it. Uh but part uh, sheet one, uh page one, it's office uh, i'm not going to bother showing you i'm just going to bore you to left with a bit of chit chat uh, so it's office and the control the console seats putting a few bits onto back at seats uh the separation bit it's not a firewall uh it's just sort of separating where uh pilot and co-pilot sit to rest at bag of machines inside then you've got a separate panel floor uh, a, a back strut, two sides, they've got seats on and again colour calling out here, G's and B's what we got, reds, reds and olive drabs uh, I'll have a look online and see see what they're like I mean, you can, you just can't trust call outs can you, you just can't uh, and I don't want it to look garish, god above uh, fuselage side on, windows in from from out from inside pushing through. Uh, so again, when I come to button them two together, it's going to be a bit of mask all uh, to to cover them in. Uh, then we've got office sliding in to the side. Obviously, paint your inside of uh, in front fuselage where offices, and then 43 gr of weight. Uh, 43 grams of weight so otherwise it's just going to sit up and I don't want that part 3 putting the other side of the fuselage on so it's buttoning together and a ramp uh, let me have a look here you get, uh, it says alternative uh, basically it's either ramp all the way up covering the back up or it look, yeah you can have it down you can have it down uh, watched, I watched Greg uh, Greg Phillips do his, uh, what did he do, can't remember, uh, memory's gone, uh, a Chinook, sorry, cheers Greg, uh, and did that, did the back area of that Chinook in such a beautiful way, it was just, oh my god, jaw droppingly brilliant, uh, Greg and you've, you're not going to watch this video, but Greg Phillips on YouTube, Greg Phillips insp inspired me to, to make sure that even now I'm thinking about what he did with his um, interior greens and he put some wiring in and all kinds of things. It looked absolutely unbelievable. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to, to, to have a little bash at that. So ramp up or ramp down, it'll be ramped down. Not going not gonna to have like a detail like that and then just not, not have it on show. Uh, what's that all about? On to section four, you've got your two wing struts and a couple of braces. Uh, section 5 is rotor housing and it all looks like it's coming together. I have had a look through sprues, they do look a little bit bland I've got to say. Uh, and again I'll I'll sort of, you know, have a look on Google and see what's going off, see if I can 
maybe it's just do a tiny little bit of announcement there but if it's true that's how it is it is bland it is plain obviously I, i'll leave it uh we've got some actuated arms on uh all looks good i've, I've had a look at it like i like i said uh we, we all and me included don't we in this day and age it's got to be like uh sunk panel lines yeah i've got to put a wash on it i've got to do this i've got to do that now some of the videos that i've seen I've seen guys that have completely rescribed. Uh, they've sanded it all flush and they've completely rescribed uh, every single bloody line. Uh, that is definitely not for me, and I'll tell you why. Number one, I ain't got a scriber. Number two, I don't think I've got patience for that. Uh, number three, I, I ain't got out to follow guide on. But number four, more importantly, it should have been number one. This is uh, rivet detail. And it's crisp as anything. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it, it's not going to take... You know your standard wash when you're saying, oh, I'll stick a floor in it. It's not going to be able to do that. But it will be able... I'll, I'll be able to enhance it all right enough uh, to bring that rivet detail out. Looking forward to that. Part five, part six then, what have we got? So we've got your wing strut. Now... <laughs> It's a cur there's a curved edge on that and I can see when the two fuselage sides come together it is leaving a little bit I will show you it's leaving uh, so so this little bit here and then can you see you can see sort of that down here and that's got to fit in uh, but you don't have to put the arms on you don't have to put the houses on for, for the blades uh, it, it's given me an alternative obviously it's either up or down and again, I sort of want—I didn't want them up or down. I wanted them there, uh, you know, just in that sort of like motion. I'm going to watch some videos, uh, like I said, to see if I can see and hear and feel the mechanics of that. Does it make a whirring sound? Is it smooth as silk? Is it like velvet? Is it rough as shit? All that kind of thing. And I want to see—I want to see how that works before I put this together. So that housing, it sits on top, onto your fuselage, so there's going to be a seam there that I'm going to have to fill, more than likely, and then back end goes on, onto the back end, uh, obviously, it's showing you that. Rotor blades then going on, on either side, on section 8, section 9, <coughs> is undercarriage, uh, it's not, even in 1 in 48, I mean, it's 30 centimetres long, but that includes the probe and the front. There, there is a refuelling probe at the front. Uh, 30 centimetres for the 1 in 48. It's decent size, that, isn't it? Uh, undercarriage, I, I've not looked at it through Pro just yet. I'm just hoping it's not brittle. Uh, it, it's only short. It only looks really short. It's like, you know, like the aircraft itself does actually sit right down right close to the ground so i should be all right with that there's a couple of aerials couple of attachments a uh, few bits and bats not going to go into it uh yeah refueling probe some antenna at front and that kind of thing that brings that build all together now they'll not be going on right until the last minute uh i'm same as you you put one of them little aerials and antennas on uh, where it tells you to, uh, you turn the page over, you can only look at it and they fell off. So that's not happening. That'll they'll go on right at right at the very end. But uh, again, because it's an attachment, uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll paint them on the sprue. And I know that you've got your gate, your sprue gate that's holding it on. But I'll just give it an airbrush. Uh, when when, I, when I'm priming. I'll just get a quick prime and then I'll put top colour on because it's only an aerial, so they're only little things. But uh, but again, once I cut it off the sprue, it's just a gentle scrape with knife and then it's painted, stick it on. I don't mess about with stuff like that. Colour call out M22 Osprey US Marine Aviation Development Aircraft 2001. Aviation Development Aircraft 2001. Oh, 19 years then. I wonder if it were in development then in 2001. I haven't read brief at front, have I, so I don't know. Uh, colour call out. Three colours. Dark ghost grey. Light ghost grey. And black. 
Now then, I have got grey. Uh, I don't know if I've got a dark ghost grey. FS3 6320. Uh, Tamiya colours or Vallejo. XF53 for that. Uh, light ghost grey. Now, light ghost grey, I, I made my own last time and actually I've still got it. Uh, yeah, I, I have. I've still got it. Where's my camera? There, look, light ghost grey. Light gold grey, kind of same kind of thing. And and you can see that that's a white, uh, it's a Tamiya white. Uh, Truth and I can get a lid off that, makes a change. But, uh, oh, I'm not using that. But, uh, all, all I did was I got the white and then just added some uh, XF80 to it, which is a really light Tamiya grey. Uh, XF80 is still not light enough for light gold. So, again, just to sort of like make my own. Uh, and I've got, well, I ain't got enough left actually. And I've only got one pot of white. So I can't mix. I'm going to have to go and get another white. Uh, you probably can't see that on camera, but uh, it, it, it is white. Uh, where's my thing? There it is. Light, light gull. It, it, it was just what, I, what I'd done myself. Uh, uh, and, and it worked, it worked last time, I did a, I did a, a Tomcat where it looked absolutely spot on. Uh, and then flat black. So that's that's it for three colour call out. For main body, you've got your decals on there, uh, Marines and your Stars and Stripes, MX, uh, the uh, V, you know, uh, where, where your propeller blades are, which obviously, you know, watch what you're doing, otherwise we're going to cut your head off type of thing. Uh, on the top, there's some decals on top of the rotors. Uh, it's a, isn't it an odd looking bird that? Look at that, isn't it a bloody odd shape that? We, we, it's, like, it's like it's got th this bit up here where, where it skirts out. It's like it's chuffing pregnant. Uh, and that refuelling probe is absolutely massive. I wouldn't like to have been driver of one of these trying to hook up to a refueler, I can tell you that. Not with them blades spinning around. Uh, and then light gold grey underneath, stars and bars on top, etc, etc. And that is it. That's it for your, that's it for your sheet. Plain piece of paper on back, uh, which I, I usually use to make sort of my odd notes on. Uh, but, but that's just about it. Uh, machine itself. Uh, oh, I'm happy with that. So there's... Again, you can see, I'll turn it that way, look, that's that's lovely, is that? That'll look nice. You watch, it'll be chuffing grey on it inside, but again, colour call out, not sure. Uh, couple of windows, there's no... Uh, a lot of modellers talk about flash. And flash, even though I've built that Airfix Spitfire, which there were enough flash on that to make another kit. Flash don't bother me. It's sinkholes, sinkholes in bad places where you've got to fill it and and then fanny about. I'm not it just you know you know what I mean. So, but a nice bit of detail in there. That'll cut off. That'll cut off. That's that's that scope there at the top where that sort of wing housing is going to sit. I'm going to have to watch for that, especially because it you can't see. It's not flat. It's bevelled. So I'm just hoping that 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 marries on with it, obviously bevelled as well to fit. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can get on over that. I'm just going to see if I can get on camera. There's not a massive amount of detail on it. In fact, there's hardly any. To be fair, I mean, I don't know. I'm putting my hand up. You, I, I have to put my hand up like everybody else to see if it focuses. Cause it's a phone camera. Uh, I'm, phone, I'm filming on my phone. Them's them little aerials on Sprue F. A uh, couple of bits. I think they're shields. They're sort of like the cowlings for where it rotor blades are. Uh, that's wheel wells, I'm guessing. Bit of that pipe detail inside. Uh, that might be light gold grey. But it might be white. But I'll see. Oh, I'll tell you what I have just seen. What a lovely little touch. Uh, I'm going to put my hand at the back of it. There, look. One, two. Windscreen wipers. 
Gorgeous. That's just a nice little touch, that, isn't it? Just what you need. Uh, seats. Seats are coming in four sections. And, again, what I'm looking for is sinkholes. Not bothered about flashing, cutting that off. That that's all right, and there's no there's no marks in that that's going to need filling. Details not bad, it's not brilliant, uh, but again, once it's buttoned up, you'll not see it. That don't mean that that's like my excuse for not doing a good job, because I do like to go and do a good job. Uh, propeller housing at top. I'm just going to throw that back in the box because it will hold some sprue. Uh, what we got? arms flaps i've seen like i've seen one video on this kit that this one guy does and i'm not kidding he's cut the flaps off he's put rods in and bars in and all sorts it looks absolutely fantastic i don't think i've got skill to do that uh, that top wing section there's a little bit of detail on there a little bit of raised detail no panel lines no sunken panel lines though uh i'm sure i'll get over that and then uh, second to last is sprue B and then get that oh, right so you've got <coughs> that one uh, that's your floor pan that sits inside uh, you've got your console uh, the back end the da the sort of the do door area there be between you know what I mean pilot and, and crew that landing gear then that I were on about let me have a look it is really stubby is that and there's two gates holding that on but I think they'll, they'll cut off easy they'll be all right might put a bit of no I'm not I'm gonna say I might put a bit of piping detail on that but I'm not gonna bother uh, two nice little joysticks there control sticks joysticks uh, rams now then rams so rams rams for the back of the ramp they look really small and brittle uh two gates holding them on i'm just wondering whether i'm gonna have to swap them out for so i've got some rod, i've got some plastic rod i might have to swap them out but it depends if it's uh if the beefy if it's too beefy i, I don't want it to look out of scale obviously i might have to use them that's other side, and then last one, sprue A. I don't want to get me wide in way. Sprue A. So you've got two seats with moulded in seat belts, uh, which I might sand back and put my own in. I have got some spare photo etch seat belts actually. Uh, that's the top of the. Yeah, that's that's a bit. I'm not going to say it's poor, but. I'll show you. It's that. Uh, if I put it up to the camera, put my hand up back so it focuses. Look, you, you know what it is. It's it's like it's the intake, isn't it? But and it's not bland, but it could have been done a lot better. That. Not to worry. Not to worry. Uh, I don't worry about stuff like that. I just build with what's in front of me, uh, and then your your rotor housings again. There's a, there's a little bit of detail, I'll hold it up, there's a little bit of detail there, there look, and it's not overly, but again, on, on real machine, you know, it, it's, I suppose it is what it is. So, that's what I'm going to do, uh, I'm building this because I've got grey paint, like I said, uh, very quick video, uh, 20 minutes, uh, just to see, just to show you what I'm doing next, uh, and uh, hopefully... I'll be able to crack on over the next couple of days once I've reviewed everything online. Uh, hope you're all well. Well, well. Hope you're all well. Stay safe, guys, and uh, catch you later on. Cheers.